in this particular draft, the D line talent is just like chef's kiss. Like, pick your poison, pick what you want. What do you see us doing? What what should we do at 10? So at 10, our biggest hole right now is probably corner. And I hate saying that. That just that makes my stomach hurt. But that's that's not a bad problem to have. Um, I do think this is a draft where you can find some corners. You don't necessarily have to go best corner at 10. I think mm-hmm. um the the big thing right now, as we just talking about with the interior of the defensive line. There are about four or five dudes that really are game changers. And I think just like we saw in this last draft, that's that's going to be the hot commodity. Um, you're probably not going to be in the Jalen Carter, Will Anderson, sweepstakes, maybe Brian uh, Brzee, or um, there's another guy out of Florida that I, I'm kind of kind of still chewing tape on, uh, Jervon Davis. Uh, Jervon Davis, he wears uh, number nine for Florida. Six six, like three twelve. Standing next to Jordan, I mean, you could go six six, three twenty plus. Truthfully, and I mean, we can eat for the next ten years. Where it's, it's just kind of what, like, what flavor do we want on that defensive line? Um, that's kind of where I'm leaning more so, just because you can always find a corner, and that's already in the league or has experience. For me, corner is probably the, the position that may take the longest to actually get right. Um, so I, I think I would probably say going into your defensive line, um, maybe hoping that, that, that Brzee kid from Clemson might fall to us, uh, 6'3", 6'4", about 320. He does, he does have a bad knee. I'm, I'm interested to see how he's going to uh, work out in the combine. Um, but that's where I think we got to go, like – the offensive side of the ball is, is locked in. I think those those first those first two picks got to go defense. Um, I also like this kid from Baylor. Uh, I think it's Siaka Siaka Ika. Uh, reminds me of Vita Vea, six four, maybe six five, three twenty. Why low though? Like. What I'm envisioning for us at ten, if we want to, if you kind of want to keep on that same train, you get a big wild load like you just did with Jordan Davis, and then you tell people, "Hey, you got to get around this." We, we sh- but you know, go ahead. does that wild low concern you though? Because Jordan Davis can't be on the field that much because of his wild load. <laughs> but see, now I think what, what it does for you, because these are these are these are two down monsters, kind of like I said, like with your Vita Vea's. They'll, you know, hopefully Jordan will, his body will kind of, will, uh, you know, really adapt to going into his second year. You know, he had that, that really bad ankle. But that's what kind of what he was asked to do, which is eat double teams this year. He just kind of let everybody else fly around. Maybe going into his next year, hopefully he has some kind of pass rush, some kind of bull. Hopefully, yeah. Because, I mean, if he, if he has uh, anything pass rush, it's curtains, you know. It's a wrap, but, but I do, but I do agree with you. Having two guys that can both be two down dudes, you're probably not gonna get them both on the field at the same time. But when they are on the same on the field at the same time for that play or two, you might have magic. Um, who I'm kind of looking to kind of like stand out in the draft, Mazzy Smith out of Michigan. I want to say we're like 58, kind of short guy. Kind of puts me in the mind of like a Grady Jarrett. Real strong, kind of like real one technique, maybe three technique. Somebody that we could pair with Jordan, where he they really could kind of play off each other. That's really what I'm looking for at ten. Um, like I said, that outside on that highway, I'm just not really. The difference between Joy Porter Jr. and Julius Brents, if it's ten players between them, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, secretly though. And I know this might I, I want to see how he's going to um test. Defensive line, I think he probably could play a little interior. My other guy from uh from Oregon Sewell, Noah Sewell, because I know he's kind of playing linebacker, play a little, could play on the line. Um well, he's a big boy though. Uh when I watched Oregon, that's 
I tried to watch Gonzalez, but I, I know Gonzalez is getting cooked in that, that very first game against Georgia. I saw Gonzalez one more time, but who stood out to me was Noah, uh, Noah Sewell. Um, that that linebacker, linebacker kind of in in type 